Welcome back, everybody. We told you we be back to Drinks for Geeks. I'm Hammer. And I'm Max. Sorry for it being a little bit dark, but uh, we're in Hawaii. It gets dark early sometimes. <laughs> but we got another beer for you, and we're going to do a review on it. So, Max, what's the beer? This beer, smelled by Be Belching Beaver Brewery. Another Belgian beer it's again, the guys. Damned IP, double IPA. It's um, it looks. Yeah, yo. It looks tasty. So, give you a little bit of history. If you haven't been watching most of our videos by now, we have done one Belgian beaver review or two. Oh, I think we've only done one. And we actually had a really good time on the Belching Beaver beer. We've, we've, we've drank quite a few Belching Beavers already. Uh, we've kind of weeded them out a little. And uh, I don't know. I'm liking the Belching Beaver brand. Yeah. Both Belching Beaver Brewery. Yeah. You guys are actually top notch. Cheap beer. As far as we know. Good tasting. I mean, it's a lot of carbonation. I'll, that's a Hence negative. the Belching uh, portion. But the flavor, the taste of every single beer that we've had, in, with or without the review, top notch. I will say this is a, again, Belching Beaver is out of Vista, California, uh, craft brewery company. This one in particular is 8.8 .8 ABV, which is, woohoo! We haven't had a big number in a long time. Yeah. That's why we got the damned. Been looking for one, but yeah, it doesn't seem to come around that often. It's all yeah. good though. But we, we like the Belching Beaver so far, so let's do an honest review like we always do. Open it up, Axe. Let's hope, wait, 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 put it down, not break, no lids. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because uh, for some reason, I've been blamed for breaking lids. Superman, Superman loves breaking lids. <laughs> hey. Ooh, Just because you say nice you're color. Batman doesn't freaking I'm Batman. mean okay anything. Wow. All right. It's a double IPA. And uh, I love my Indian pale ales, guys and girls. It's amazing. Uh, it, it's got a really nice golden really nice color. Golden color. Sorry again for the lighting, guys. Yeah, show Max. It has a... Golden bronze, very, very nice goldish bronze in yeah. color. It's actually yeah, really, really nice. Now this is what I would say I expect from an IPA. Maybe not necessarily from the Belching Beaver Company because they are more into the flavorish carbonation type of ales. But as for an IPA, it is nice looking. The bubbles are tiny. They come up very it's got small. A very. Small amount of head. Half inch head. You have to smell this thing. Oh my goodness. You need to smell this thing. Oh, <laughs> yeast and hops. Oh my goodness. Oh, what's that Wizard of Oz quote? Uh, bears, tigers, um, and lions. Lions, oh tigers, and bears. Oh my. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my. <laughs> Beers, hops, and water. Oh my. my. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So, off the color, off the taste. Oh, actually, not taste. Off the color, off the look, and off the smell alone. I'm living it. I'm actually, you know, I'm honestly, living it. I'm liking this beer. Double Even, IPA. I mean, yes. Woo! The last beer we did, the last review, um, the hard cider, it was good. It was nice. It was tasty. It was awesome. This, it's sorry, folks. Nice. This is a beer. Wish you were here. This is a beer. Wish you were here. And we we both wish you were yeah, here. Wish you were here. Now, I've said this countless times already. Axe, what does Drinks for Geeks do better? Well, I don't know if it's going to be called beer review. <laughs> or if it's going to be called just review. How about we drink beer? But we drink beer. Yes, we drink beer. Most. So, cheers, everybody. Let's give it a taste. Oh my god, people. Wow. Oh my god. 
This is your beer. This is my beer. Um, whew, IPA fans, I tell you now, stay tuned, because we're going to make a review. Um, double IPA, not as strong as I thought it would be, but I tell you now, kick, kick, kick with the flavor all over the place, because I tell you, Belching Beaver Dam... Oh my goodness, it's spicy, it's sweet, it's tasty, it's sour. It's what I expect from an IPA. Now, from somebody on my end, like, not it's being nice. an IPA guy, it actually is really nice. Yeah. It's got a lot of flavor. It's not a beer Whew. that you can just chug. Well, no. But. That's how I taste. I tell you this. It has those, um, I guess what. What do those beer connoisseurs say? The floral notes. It, it does, you can but... it's the hops. But it's not fruity. But it's not fruity. It's not fruity. It's, it is nice, though. It's IPA-ish. Yeah. It's a beerish, floral... And... Nice. One of the best things I would say right now, too, with the Belgian Beavers, uh, this particular beer in particular, it's not very carbonated. No, it's not. And I like that. You know what I mean? I like that. It's like... You shouldn't have an IPA that's... Um, no, you shouldn't. Carbon. You shouldn't. But... Honestly, people, if you're drinking an IPA, it says anything on IPA, and that thing is bubbly like a yeah. soda, just get rid of it. The only negative I could possibly find, which is actually not a negative, is that's what belching beavers are known for. They're very carbonated. Yeah. Um, but this Belching is, not... is in the name. Yep. But this double IPA, oh my gosh, yes, it does feel heavy. Yes, it does go down like a normal IPA, but it doesn't have the carbonation like your normal Belgian beavers. And it's like an actual... Damn! <laughs> That's all I can say. That's damn. the whole thing. Be, damn. This is good. Wow. It's a good Double beer. IPA. I'm liking that. I'm uh, liking that. For your American brew companies, I tell you now, uh, I have drank a lot of English IPAs. I've even been to London, I've been to England, and I tell you now... So jealous on my... <laughs> okay. Don't, don't just, be... It's good, though. Don't be. It's good. Uh, I'm not only one of you need to ask how I've traveled the world like that, but... I will tell you... Hey, you English brewing companies out there, if the Belgian Beaver is putting out beer like this... Be warned. That's Order pretty damn good. Order one online. Be warned. Okay, order one. Taste it, try it, yes. and um, California. Just give it your honest you know opinion I mean? of what the American brewery. Like the governor says, says, California. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, previous governor. Yeah, previous, anyway. yeah, the previous governor, California. Because yeah. everybody gets to the chopper anyway. Yeah, <laughs> but I tell you right now, hey, American craft brew companies for your IPAs, top notch, my friend. I have top an idea. Notch. Yes, what's the idea? Idea. <laughs> For all of our fans, it's subscribers, everybody who watches us. I'm on board already. I would like to propose this one thing. What is this? A all-in-one, one-for-all, worldwide beer review. Wow! Everyone who watches us, everybody who subscribes. I mean, yes, we do understand that. The international timelines and everything does come into play. But if we could all find a mutually neutral beer that none of us has ever done and possibly be able to find it in the nation of the world that you live in. And here's the harder part. The video portion. Okay, so Axe, are you telling me right now if we can get beer creators... And there's a lot of you out there. Trust me. We watch all you guys. We watch all you guys. We're fans of you guys. But are you telling me, is it possible that Drinks for Geeks and friends could get together and make it beer review? I'm pretty sure we could do something like that. Name a time, a place, and a where. Everybody out there, we're issuing you a challenge. Oh, hell yeah. No, I apologize to people. It may be about 2 o'clock in the morning. Okay? Doesn't but matter. If it is possible, we all 
should be on this thing. We should do a beer review, friends. All together. It doesn't have to be everyone. Budweiser excluded. <laughs> yes, Budweiser excluded. Bud Light. Anything but, made by Anheuser-Busch excluded. Again, we don't have many subscribers, but those subscribers who do subscribe to this, spread the word. Drinks for Geeks is offering a challenge right now. Yeah. If we can get a beer review amongst all of us. Worldwide. Worldwide now. Worldwide. And, and it happens then, to be the same beer. Yep. And, and then people it. watch this. Post not it. our video, but just our video. Yep. And see, let's say five to eight, maybe whoever, how many people are a part of the stream. And they all be like, holy smokes. That's a lot of people doing beer reviews on one beer in one video. That's amazing. Let's make a movie, man. Let's make a hashtag. <laughs> a hashtag of some sort, guys. Let's come together. It might work. It might, might not, work. Might, might or might not. Yeah. We'll see what we can get. It's just our opinion. Everybody needs to um, comment below. Like the thing. You can like it all you like, but if you don't comment below, nobody's going to participate. So, comment below. Please. Everyone, please comment below. And then we will... We'll make it happen. Coordinate we'll try to make it thing. happen. We will if seriously. Not, help yeah. us out to make this happen. And let's make a freaking beer review together. Again, sorry to get off topic. No. No, it's not, yeah. Nationwide. Nationwide. Or internationally wide. Internationally wide. wide. Yeah. I would love that. I would love to do a beer review with, with all you guys out there, like Dean the Beer Man, the Blue Ales guy. The crafty, the crafty girl. I would love to do a beer review with you. Tasty so niche. Awesome. On one beer review, even, even it on your, would be even amazing. on your friends, even on your guests coming in, your friends and your guests coming in. If we can all get the review the same way, awesome, awesome. We're all both two thumbs because up because we're damned. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys, for the long speech, but. We're damned. We're damned. So, hey. In the end. In the review right, yeah. of the beer. Um, taste, look, color. Oops, we have to go back to that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm going to say. My bad. <laughs> the Belgian Beaver Damned. In fact, you know what? I always do it. Axe, give me your rating scale on this first. <sighs> Honestly, for me not being an IPA man. I rate this out of freaking six. Six for me. This is a good IPA. This is a good beer. I'm not, not saying I'd scale, be able to it's, be able to drink it. It's more than the all average. All the time, but um, X never rates. Again, our scale is from zero to ten. Yeah. And uh, a six is Damn better than average. Good. Me, I would say, yes, I gave the wild side better. Uh, percentage, but uh, as for an IPA, it's pretty damn close. I'm going to give it a 7.5. I'm kind of harsh on IPAs because I prefer IPAs, but uh, it's a 7.5. It's a must-buy. Crazy flavor and beer it's, guy. It's a Belching Beaver. I tell you another thing about Vista California Belching Beaver beers. They're cheap as hell. Well, I wouldn't say cheap. Affordable. They're, well, how well, would it even affordable? Because affordable could be anything. If I'm a rich millionaire, a twenty dollar well, beer could th be affordable. That is very true. But the thing is, who's gonna buy a twenty dollar bottle? Well, that's not twenty dollars. This it's thing not twenty dollars. Is eight ninety nine? Not that. Yeah. Eight ninety nine for a pint. That's a Belgian Beaver. Yeah. It's a nine to ten dollar bottle. Ten to twelve bucks at the most. You're actually buying a decently yes. priced beer in a regular grocery store, yeah. of course. Now, if you get it outside from a different uh, venue, yes, it might be more because you have to import it. We uh, blah 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 blah. But just at your grocery stores, that's an eight ninety nine beer, and no. that is dirt cheap no. for a pint. And of for beer. an IPA guy, double, yeah. double, a double, eight point eight ABV fans. But it is actually a very good tasting beer. It is. The alcohol, yeah, it's not that bad. And we don't get paid by Belgian Beaver. Oh, yeah. <laughs> by the way, Belgian Beaver, we love you. We just love it. We <laughs> just love it. Okay. 7.5, 6. No, no, I'll give it a 7. Also, okay, seven. He, he changed it. I have been listening. He changed it. 
it was a six. So everybody something. just like six. Okay, so seven. But Belching Beaver yeah. down. That's our review. Yeah. We like it. And again, thanks for watching us. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for the likes. Sorry Before for the dark quality. Before you guys go, remember. Dark quality. Uh, everybody. It's kind of we, our thing. We, we would like to have. We have light and then dark. A, a worldwide review yes, on yes. a in it on a beer. We really now, want to. Most of us cannot get the same beer everywhere we go, yeah. so we see what we can do. Please comment below, communicate with us, and we see maybe we can find something yeah. in the middle. We'll hang air, yeah. air hang time, or Skype. It, or it'll be easier it to for us to all find something yeah. that's. But if yeah, we have to make the movement because I know maybe it has done before. We don't know. Yeah. But if we have to be the guys who do this... It'll be alright, because you know why? Because hey, it comes out to the end. We're, we're issuing yeah, the no. challenge out there, my friends. Boys and girls. Because in the end... Drinks for geeks. Do the same thing. We're issuing the challenge. Yep. Because we drink it. So you don't have to. Unless you like it. Cheers. Belgian Beaver Den. That's a good IPA. Double oh. style. Yeah. Thanks, everybody.